Hey everyone, this is Joe with Better Life Blog, coming to you from my PC laptop. Uh, today I want to um, do a video for all you Cricut users out there. And I just want to show you guys, I'm going to go through the steps of unzipping the file, the uh, files that you downloaded from Etsy, from our Etsy store, and opening the SVG files in Cricut Design Space. So let's go ahead and get started. So right now I have here the Christmas Bundle Part 1 and Christmas Bundle Part 2, the zip files. And I'm going to uh, unzip Part 1, right click, go to Extract All, and it'll ask me where do you want it. It's typically going to go into the same folder that you're in. So I'm in the desktop right now. So it will uh, extract in the desktop. So I'll hit Extract. And there it is. Um, it's also right here as well. So I can just close this out. There it is, Christmas Bundle Part 1. And it has uh, Design 1 through 13. And let me go ahead and do the same thing for Part 2. Right click, Extract All, Extract. And there it is. And I don't need the, here it is right here. I don't need the uh, zip files anymore, so I can just select those and delete. So there is part one and there is part two. Let's check out part two, make sure we got everything there. There it is, design 14 through 37. Tons of designs in this one, guys. Okay. So let's try, let's go into the Christmas tree truck. So we have a detailed version and we have a simple version. Um, so whichever one you want, I'll pick the simple version. You'll notice in every single one of our designs, we include four file types. We have .dxf, which is for those using Silhouette Studio, uh, the free version. We have dot svg for the cricut design space for silhouette studio designer edition and other other programs out there like um shortcuts a lot and um brothers uh scan and cut and, and lots of other things out there so svg is pretty uh standard for that it's a pretty common vector file. And then we also provide EPS file. This is also, this is good if you have uh, Adobe Illustrator or some other design program, you can open it in there. And we also offer in PNG for, uh, so you could see the, the photo of it. So every single design comes with those four file types. If you're a Cricut user and you're using Cricut Design Space, you're gonna be concerned mostly with the .svg file. So let's go ahead and, and work on that. Now, some people, um, they try to click on the SVG directly. Um, that doesn't work. Let me show you. If I just clicked on that, it's going gonna, it's gonna to try to open it in Internet Explorer, which isn't really the right program. So if I, if I hit OK, it'll just, there it is. There's a design, but this is Internet Explorer. I can't do anything in Internet Explorer. I want to open it in Cricut Design Space. So what you have to do, you have to open Cricut Design Space first. So let me launch that. Um, also want to note that Cricut Design Space is not a program running on your computer. It's actually a browser-based program that you need an internet connection to use. And um, it's not running on your computer. So it's a little different. So what you do you click on new project and then you go to upload. You have two options here. You can upload an image, you can upload a pattern. Patterns are, and they show you right here what they are, JPEGs, GIFs, PNGs, or BMPs, or an image, JPEG, GIF, PNG, BMP, SVG, or DXF. So this is the one we wanna uh, focus on. And you can see here I've already uh, uploaded the Christmas tree truck, but for the sake of this tutorial, I want to show it to you again. So I'm going to click Upload Image. 
browse and I'm going to go to my desktop because that's where it was. I got my Christmas bundle part one and part two right here. Click on part one. Christmas tree truck, which is design 09. And I'm going to do the simple version and I'm going to select my SVG file. Make sure that it says .svg open. There it is right there. You also have the option to add tags. So it would be uh, when you have way too many designs uploaded, you can easily find it by by writing different tags. Uh, I'm not going to add any today, but that's definitely something you can do if you'd like. Click Save. And there it is. Recently uploaded. It's this guy right here. Tree truck, simple SVG. So now I'm going to click on that because you have to click on it to insert it into your project. So now that it's clicked and you can tell it's clicked because it has that uh, green, uh, um, what do you call it? Highlight over it. And then right here it says you have two options, cancel or insert image. I'm going to click insert image and it might take a little, a few seconds depending on how big or how intricate the file is. And there it is. Um, you can grab it, move it around. I'm going to resize it so I can see it all at the same time here. So there it is. Pretty cool, pretty easy to do, but uh, I definitely just wanted to show you guys, you know, whatever we could do to to give you guys the uh, tools you need to make sure it's easy to open and get started on it and have fun. Uh, some people are having trouble, you know, extracting the zips or opening it in Design Space, so I just wanted to show you guys how to do that, and hopefully, uh, this tutorial was helpful and. Um, you know, happy crafting everyone. Enjoy it and Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. And we'll see you guys later. Take it easy.